Welcome to Weld.com. Last week we did a simple beam layout where we were squaring the end of, off of a mill cut completely out of square. I need to straighten this up. So we did a, we demonstrated the layout part of it. Today we're going to do the cut <clears throat> and I need to, I'm going to cut with oxyacetylene. Uh, I'm going to set some tanks up. We'll get right to it. I need to set my torch up, prepare for cutting. As always, when I, when I grab my torch, I, I check things and make sure that they're set the way I like them as far as the torch oxygen lever and my valve. Some people like to turn this around and have their valves up. I, I make sure that my oxygen valve and my acetylene valve are closed. I open my oxygen completely down here on the torch body. I need to turn my cylinders on. First thing I always do is check to see if these are backed off and loose. I'll turn my oxygen on slowly, open it all the way. I want to set my pressure at about 20 psi. I'm using an OT tip to cut beam today. So I'm going to set it about 20-25. I want to make sure this is loose and I want to turn this on one complete turn with an OT tip. I like to have my acetylene pressure at 6 PSI. We're ready to cut. I want to make a cut. <clears throat> I have my pressure set on my cylinders. And I want to come in here and cut, square this beam up. You'll notice that there's a slight radius where the flange meets the web section in here. I need to kind of take note of that. There's a subtle technique that I'm going to use and kind of waste that a little bit, but I need to pierce. So I'm definitely going to have to slow down right here. I'm going to go ahead and wear my uh, sentinel hood and put it on grind mode. I, I if I have a lot of cutting to do, I generally wear a pair of dark glasses. But today I'll just, I'll do this cut. I want to be able to see my lines so I don't want to have anything overly dark. Turn a little acetylene on and light the torch. Get a good flame here. Good burn condition. I'm gonna use my handy little cheater bar today for my straight edge because I'm old and shaky and don't cut real good anymore. I'm going to throw a little preheat right down here in the throat with this radius here. There are all different shapes of beams. S, I, W. This is more of an I shape. bring this over on the edge of the flange. very slight tilt away from my cut. I don't want to pierce the beam in the, in the web going back into it that way. Since this is a short section, I have the luxury of rolling it on the saw horses. Set my burn bar up exactly the way it was with the other cut. Grab a chip and hammer and clean up my pierce spark there. So I have a nice straight cut on my layout line, but both of my pierces go back in away from this and away from my layout line, and I want that. When I go to cut the web, 
I will probably bring my torch in away from this radius, move in and come over to my finished part of my cut. So I'm gonna cut past my, where I pierced and get into the layout line. I just wanna get it close so that when I go to clean it up with the grinder, which obviously I'm going to, flapper disc or a grinder, I want it to be close enough where I'm not spending a lot of time with the grinder. I just, you know, I, when I get done, I just want to clean it up, face it off, and I should be square and it should be usable, close enough to weld. Same thing on this side. I'll probably do these cuts, move in, and use a, I'll cheat and use a guide again. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right over here in the corner, away from the radius because my pierce made it all the way through. And I'm going to bring the cut in and connect the to connect to the line I'll do it over here in this corner real quick and then I found a another little cheater guide that's about the same width and I'll use this as a straight edge to go across obviously you know if you cut nice and smooth and straight you could do this by hand And now we're ready to grind. We'll clean this up real quick and, and hopefully face it off. It looks pretty straight. I can see where I barely angled this a little bit and that's fine. Hey, you know, a lot of times we'll come back and bevel these. So uh, let me grab my uh, flapper disc and we'll get this cleaned up for you. Hey, I got this all cleaned up, skinned it off with the flapper wheel and brought it back. It's, uh, you didn't see every variation, but at least we're right back to nice and square. We've got very slight variation in here, but hey, even I could weld that. Oh, my boo-boo, every video. How about this right here? How about that? Got a little cut in there. I think I've, I missed when I came back into the web where I was lining up the cut. And you know, hey, we're, we can use this now. We're square. We can measure off of it and go to town and cut other lengths off of it. We're gonna do other little setups like this and I appreciate your comments, concerns, uh, your feedback and support it means a lot to us. Thanks for watching well.com. Please subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram.